What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of My Summer Carp. Once again, if you guys are enjoying the series, make sure you drop a like on the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. Yesterday, we kind of made an oopsie and we got killed from being stung by wasps. Actually, I think it was just one wasp. There's one wasp out there in the world that just doesn't want us to see another day. So today, my main goal is to do as much work as possible to our summer car right over here. Now, I had to do a bunch of um, suspension stuff off camera yet again. We got the interior installed. We have the steering column. I have part of the dash. I don't have the cluster, the instruments in just yet. But uh, front suspension, totally good. Rear suspension, totally good. So we are ready to throw on some wheels on this thing and we may be able to sort of push the chassis around at that point i'm not really sure but just in case we can't i do have the what is this thing even called keck keckmet the keckmet it's a tractor i have the tractor out here just in case that way we can uh you know use the handy dandy tow hook maybe we'll be able to like pull it into the garage i don't really know how that works but i would love to be able to see underneath of that if we can't use our pit, there is a mod that we can try to use. It's called, I think, the Grab Everything mod. So all we have to do to open that is do Control and then P, which I don't know if that's the actual keybind it's supposed to be, but that's what I have it set up for. Then we just toggle the mod on or off. So I'm going to enable it, click Control P again, and now we should be able to pick up literally everything other than like our house I don't I stand corrected it kind of looks like maybe we can actually move the entire house so we have to be really careful with this thing also why am I walking super slow what's really cool about this is we can actually pick up our entire car now which um, kind of reminds me of farming simulator there's a, a similar mod for that but we don't actually want that on right now just in case like I said just in case we have to move it in to the garage for whatever reason but we are getting a phone call dude See what we got over here. Hey, it's Grandma here. Could you bring me some fish when you have time? I'd rather not go to the lake with my bad feet. I've read that once before. Wow, she's still going. Okay, thanks, uh, Grandma. Yeah, I don't know. Can we bring Grandma some fish? Maybe we should do that. I really just want to try to knock out this car, though. I mean... We don't have that much more to do. Maybe let's just go quickly experiment with the fishing rod. We know it's on the boat down there, so let's just go take a look. We don't need to bring the fish to Grandma, but uh, she is asking for it. So if we catch one, how about that? If we catch a fish, we'll bring a fish to Grandma. So our fishing pole, fishing rod, is right over here. There we go. Do I hit F? Oh, I hit F to use it. Okay. All right, Grandma, don't you worry. Don't you worry. We're going to get you some fish. And then it's just... I don't really know what's going on here. I'm just kind of reeling in. It, do you just cast and then reel in? Okay, there's no bobber. What's the objective here? Just to cast and reel in? Maybe this guy knows. Should we ask him, see if he knows what's going on? <laughs> Yeah, I don't think he's probably going to make his way over here since we've been flipping him off and calling him names. So, he'll just be on his way. I don't know how to use this fishing rod, dude. I don't understand. There's no bobber. It just casts and then it has the sound of drag peeling out. That's definitely not the sound that a fishing reel makes when you reel it in. So, I I don't know. Maybe I'm not, just not doing something right. All right, sorry, Grandma. We couldn't catch you a fish today. If you guys know how to use the fishing rod or uh, or fishing pole, definitely let me know because I am absolutely clueless. I could just look at the wiki, but I've been doing that for literally everything. And, uh, you know, kind of spoils some things. Sometimes you find stuff that you didn't really want to find. Of course, right as I grab my spanner set, freaking phone's ringing again. It better not be Grandma. It better not be Grandma, dude. Okay, it's not grandma. Oh, I had a heart attack. A, a heart attack. <laughs> the doctor denied all work. I wonder if you could transport all the hay bales back to our farm. Good day. I mean, 
I don't know, dog. I don't actually know where you live. Let's let's maybe look at the map. That's that's not how we open the map. There it is. Let's see. Farmer boy is clear up there, dog. That's actually a fairly short trip if we were to take our boat. But if we were to take any sort of land vehicle, that would take literally an hour. So I don't think we're probably going to do that either. I'm just trying to start working on this car, dude. Okay, so like I mentioned, suspension's all good. So let's just grab the wheels. We'll put the wheels on. And then I think at that point, we should be ready to start engine assembly. Um, I remember seeing a comment from someone asking... You know, do we know where to get the engine components and stuff? I guess maybe I just didn't cover this, but they are all in the garage. Some minor assembly required, of course. But, like, we have things like the block is down here. We have the oil pan. We have the head here. We have the uh, rocker arms. We have crankshaft main bearings right there. We have camshaft over here. Crank there. So everything is here, I think. Everything except for spark plugs. And that might be the reason... Oh, and the car battery and oil and coolant. Almost everything is here. But we should have everything that we need to actually get it um, pieced together. And hopefully we'll be able to uh, take it and get it inspected. So if I understand this correctly, we'll actually have to take this car to an inspection area. Which I don't actually know where that is. Let's see. I love how we just swear. We just curse so bad every time we open our map. Like, it's just... It's the end of the world or something. I don't see the... Oh, there it is. Okay, so it's over kind of by the church graveyard area where the store is. It's it's near the store. So once we get this thing assembled, you guys, we have to make the trek from home all the way around either left or right. Probably go to the right over here past grandma's house. And then we'll be able to make our way up to get this thing inspected. But uh, we don't have to do that for quite a while yet. Obviously, there's there's quite a bit more work to be done. And it's almost nighttime. Couldn't have planned this any better. Let's get these freaking wheels out, dude. I have a feeling this is going to do something bad, too. Not that terrible. Let's maybe get all the wheels... Can I get all the wheels put on? Let's try it. I know that when you try to mount something without having another thing fully fastened, it kind of freaks out a little bit. Come on, there we are. Okay, no, we can actually just mount all the wheels first, and then we'll go through and tighten them all down. That's actually pretty handy, dude. I'm also going to be totally real with you guys. This may feel like a filler episode because it kind of, sort of is. I'm filming a wedding this weekend, and uh, that's just kind of where my mind's at right now. So I do apologize if this one's not, uh, you know, the greatest quality stuff or whatever, but uh, I'm trying. I'm trying. We're getting her. We're getting her banged out, nonetheless. Okay. So, what size are these lug nuts? What do we got here? Size 13. That's an odd size, but all right. So now we'll just go around real quick. Get all of the nuts tightened on. Four lug pattern too. That's how you know it's super JDM. Okay, we got the last nut right here, brother. Last nut, and boom, just like that, boys. We got wheels on this thing again. Just. Kind of to reiterate here, these wheels will not pass inspection. So we will have to at least get new tires for these wheels. And then we'll be good to pass inspection. But um, it actually is starting to look like a car. And I'm a big fan of that. I'm a big, big fan. Oh, e-brake. We should probably rip the e-brake now, dude. That would, be, uh, that would be a good decision. There we go. So now if we bump into it, it's not going to roll. Nice. I love that. I'd kind of like to try to figure out how to do this interior bit. I'll show you guys really quick sort of the, the issue that I'm having is putting the instrument cluster in. I should just look up a guide on, on how to actually assemble the car, but that takes too much time, you know? And spoilers, those aren't fun. All right, so here we go. I have the dash fully installed, which I believe is only two bolts. And then I'm going to try to put the instruments in, but then everything's just going to fall apart. Three, two, one... Wait, what? This did not at all work before. Okay, maybe I was just doing something completely wrong. But where are the fasteners for this bad boy? Or does it just... Does it just pop in? I'm, I'm gonna call it good. That's, you know, that's a victory right there. Big, big, big victory. Oh, also, I'm a moron. I'm an idiot. In the previous episode, we found the... Uh, GT valve cover as well as the GT steering wheel and I had specifically said I cannot save and quit without removing these from my backpack first and guess what I did I saved and quit 
without removing them from my backpack first. So we lost the sweetest GT steering wheel I think I've ever seen. Possibly the only one we can ever get. I'm really not sure. And uh, a pretty dope valve cover too. So hard times out here, man. It's, it's rough. We got to find a new steering wheel now. We have the stock boy right here. Let's try to get this thing installed. Okay, so we got our steering wheel. Now, if we enter driving mode, we should be able to actually steer it. I wish there were some way. Oh, here we go. I can at least verify that the wheels are turning. That would mean that we got the uh, the power steering rack and the tie rods and everything. I can see shadows on this side. The tie rods and everything are, are hooked up properly. So, not sure about the alignment. We'll probably have to take it into Fleetari and have him align it. I'm sure he probably does that type of thing there. All right, it's getting a little too dark now for us to continue working on the car for tonight, but I say we uh, take care of our stats really quick and then head to bed, wake up pretty early in the morning and just continue on from there. Oh my God, we just got woken up by the phone. Again, dude, and we're trembling. Freaking alcoholism, dude, it's no joke, all right? Don't don't take this stuff lightly, okay? This, this game is proof. Look at that. And now we gotta pick some drunk up. Please can you pick me up from the pub and drive me home. All right, listen. I don't have a car to drive. Also, the pub is on the complete opposite side of the map. So while I would love to, we can't yet because we don't have a car. We don't have a two-seater vehicle to pick that dude up in. But all right, I guess uh, here we are, new day. Let's go ahead and start on our engine assembly. I'm just gonna put the, I think I'm gonna put the block up here on the table and we'll just kind of work in the garage for a little while. Okay, so we'll hoist that bad boy up on there. Crankshaft first, I would think. So let's actually get this rotated around and we'll put it on the, the top side. Grab ourselves a crank, which is right here, crankshaft. And now we need some way to fasten that crankshaft to the block so let's get these main bearings i don't know why but it's really difficult to do any sort of assembly on this table for some reason let's see right there okay perfect we got one of them on okay and these are what size size nine i think we have a 10 in our hand right now let's actually just bring the spanner set into the garage that way we don't have to run back and forth all the time and now we just have to tighten these six bolts down and we are ready to move on to the next thing i think probably pistons i'm assuming the pistons will have rod caps that we'll have to tighten on this back side as well so we'll we'll try that there we go all right four pistons mounted up dude let's rotate it back around and we will tighten the rod caps which i'm assuming yep there they are just sort of auto installed size seven I'm not even gonna lie, part of me is kind of nervous that uh, maybe we get this entire thing assembled, but we do one thing incorrectly, and then we just torch the entire engine. I just have a feeling that that's something that we would do, and by we, I mean I. Okay, all the rod caps have been tightened, so theoretically we should be ready to put the oil pan on. There we go. Perfect. All right, we had it backwards, but that's cool. Let's see what size we got. For these bolts oh perfect already got it must be a seven this is honestly really relaxing too i know that sounds kind of strange because i have no idea what i'm doing so like that could kind of be chaotic but it's not bad really not bad at all size 13 hang on just a minute how does this engine move its rocker because the cam has nowhere to go inside the uh inside the head here wait does the cam go in the block then there's another hole over here i don't i don't know if that actually works i'm gonna try to there it is there it is dude the cam goes in the block i've i've literally never seen an engine like this some of you are probably like dude that's all we got here where i live <laughs> never seen anything like this and then we bolt it down so it's just got the two bolts on the uh on the front side here tighten those fasteners down what else we got anything on the back side no back side is free and clear dude oh wait is there some sort of uh yes there is there is of course a head gasket oopsies it's kind of funny that they let us put that on though okay yeet that off into the corner we'll grab that here in a moment head gasket okay there was no like oil pan gasket right they're not getting that into it I don't see one. Oh God, I did not even realize our hunger is like super, super high right now. Let's grab a sausage. There we go. 
Dude, there, there ain't nothing a sausage can't fix, I'll tell you what. Okay, but I think the cylinder head is now completely bolted up. So let's move on to probably the rocker arm assembly thing. The rocker shaft is what they're calling it. Rocker arm installed. We got an oil filter over here. Put that on the side right there. Do we have to screw that in? Oh, yes, we do. All right, I don't know if we're supposed to do that, but I did it anyways. Okay, and I didn't see any sort of valve cover gasket, so I think we're good to put the uh, the valve cover on. I don't know at what point we're able to actually attach it to the engine crane over here, but that would probably help us out a ton. Oh, also, before we mount the trans, I have to make sure we put the engine plate on because I know for a fact so many people like IRL miss this piece. And uh, I don't want to be one of those people even uh, in a video game. So I'm going to do my very best not to. Oh man, we should have went to the store and got some paint. So we could have sprayed this thing up and made it look all nice and fancy, but it's all right. You know what? First iteration of the engine, most of these components are pretty junk. So uh, odds are we're going to be replacing everything later anyways. Crankshaft pulley should actually go on the outside of this timing cover. So let's do camshaft for sure should be internal because that'd be chain driven right there look at me using my freaking big wrinkly brain i'm honestly impressed because they did put a lot of real world stuff inside of just this engine assembly so let's see here we have a timing mark here on our camshaft and then we also have a timing mark right here on the block that matches up with the crankshaft. I'm gonna try to get it as straight up and down as i possibly can and for those of you that maybe aren't familiar with timing marks I'm talking about this little this little mark right here. We're trying to get that straight up and down or as close to straight up and down as we can. That looks pretty good. I'm I'm happy with that. Let's put the chain on before it moves or something. I don't know if that can actually happen. There we be, dude. All right, did the timing mark move? That one did not. That one did not. Okay, so we should be, should be good to go then. Let's put this cover on and then maybe we'll do the water pump because it kind of looks like it has a little cutout here for a water pump type deal so let's uh let's do that quick all right and then what do we got here size six bolts real tiny little boys that <laughs> wow please no one ever used that out of context <laughs> okay water pumps on now we just have to get the water pump pulley which is right here god dude we're freaking smoking this thing i've only been recording for 45 ish minutes and uh, I guarantee you at least 15 of that was just kind of dilly-dallying at the start of things. Okay, we got a, a screwdriver. Oh, we do have a screwdriver. Let's not tighten this because this would be the alignment one. It doesn't have an actual tensioner, so they kind of use the alternator as the, the belt tensioner. Um, I'm assuming there's going to be another nut on the bottom side on the back, so we'll we'll do that first. We should have the alternator belt around here somewhere. Now if we take this... And, uh, I don't know, do we have to open the packaging? No, I guess not. Okay, we'll do that. And now, since the belt is on, I don't know if we have to, like, manually put tension on it or or how that works. It doesn't look like that's the case. So let's get our screwdriver now, and, uh, we'll try to tighten this alignment bolt or, or tensioner bolt. Okay, surprisingly, not too many bolts on the header. I love how I'm turning my head right now, trying to get a, a better angle on this thing that's that's not gonna help chief the carburetor kind of has a built-in oh there it goes <laughs> kind of has a uh, built-in intake manifold on it so that's gonna go right no mm -mm, up here hubcaps brake master cylinder oh that actually has to go in the engine bay long before we put the engine in or it should let's see where do they mount this in this car i see brake lines over there i'm assuming it's going to be next to the booster which we don't have let's get the clutch master cylinder and i think that's going to go actually right next to the brake master cylinder we should probably try to drop some spark plugs in those holes right there all right pack of spark plugs got to open the box to get one out do we have to tighten the spark plugs i would hope so no, okay, they're just hand tight. Gotta love that. Wait, 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 no, no. They're sticking out, dude. There's some threads right there. I see that. I see that clear as day. Do we have a spark plug wrench? We do. <laughs> wow, how convenient. Can we put them together like this? Yes, okay, good. Good, we got it. We got it, dude. What do we want? What do we want? 
Hello, this is Simo from Partner Magazine. I present you with the greatest offer. Only little money for new subscription. How's it going to be? What? All right, yeah, we're hanging up, dude. I hate solicitor calls. It, it's bad enough you have to get them in real life that uh, now we also get to hear them in game. I forgot that, wow. I literally told myself I cannot forget this plate and what did I do? I forgot the plate. So we actually have to remove the whole clutch now, pop this plate on and, uh, and, and actually remove the flywheel even. So it goes plate, flywheel, then clutch, then we can mount the transmission then starter and so on and so forth. So yeah, that's that's fun. I don't know, dude. I'm, I'm kind of tempted to just leave the transmission stuff for a future video. I'll probably put the engine out by the car just for the thumbnail, just so people know, you know, we, we did some serious work today. I mean, we ain't messing around. Once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.